Hi and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. This is a B-movie review and I'll be have a look at The Dinosaur Project. Now this is an interesting movie because it's actually a relatively low budget British film but it does have some quite high expectations about what it's trying to do. And it's essentially a found footage movie but with dinosaurs so it's kind of a really bit of a, a unique twist on the sort of found footage formula but it does have obviously uh, a fair amount of, sort of special effects and kind of creatures involved ultimately. A, a small sort of crew of people ultimately are in the sort of go to the Congo and one of the sort of the, uh, the sort of pilot, I think the main sort of um, captain of the sort of uh, or the void, so to speak, has a kind of a young son who's ultimately sort of chronicling what's happening and they sort of un unwittingly manage to sort of stumble across this, this sort of area where this where this nature is untouched, these and there's living dinosaurs there. And uh, ultimately, you know, the numbers get sort of thinned down and all kind of the locals are sort of saying, oh, you know, you shouldn't go in this sort of area and what have you. And ultimately it sort of becomes an adventure, adventure movie really, just trying to escape this kind of this, this particular area as a sort of the dinosaurs ultimately sort of obviously taking out a, a sort of crew along the way. Uh, now, this is obviously a low budget movie. So, and being a found footage film, you're never going to get these kind of lingering shots of obviously dinosaurs and things like that that you do in, say, sort of movies like Jurassic Park and things like that. Nevertheless, I have to say, uh, I actually didn't think the effects were all that bad, and I did quite enjoy it. And if you've seen things like Walking with Dinosaurs, that will kind of give you an idea what to expect. Now, there is a reasonable amount of sort of dinosaurs that you'll kind of, you know, see on show here. Uh, being a found footage film, I know a lot of these films barely show you anything, but like I said, this is what I'm quite surprised at this movie, because obviously it does have, you know, a reasonable amount of special effects. The young boy almost sort of de befriends this kind of um, this kind of this little dinosaur old tibby, and they kind of they kind of bond, which may be a little bit silly, but nevertheless, it's, that's what happens, and probably relatively expected. One of the things I didn't really like about this movie is just kind of it, it has very sort of uh, obvious foreshadowing of that things that's going to happen, and you know, there, there's a guy who's in the uh, who's in the sort of the, the crew of these people who's obviously going to betray them at some point. And you just the, the camera's sort of focused on him, sort of like. You know, grimacing as he's as he's sort of not given the recognition, for example, of all of the work that he's done. You think, well, that guy is going to be some kind of asshole uh, at some point down the line. It just didn't need to do that. Ultimately, it didn't come as any surprise when that obviously happens and things like that. Uh, the acting is also a little bit choppy in times. I have to say, uh, found footage films are, are difficult to judge in, in certain in certain regards to acting. I think, but I, I have to say, some of the acting wasn't fantastic. Not terrible, I have seen certainly worse, but you know, if you've watched this movie, you'll kind of get the sense of what I mean by that. Uh, but like I said, the effects I don't think were too bad. Yes, they are computer generated. Yes, you can probably tell that they're computer generated, but you know, I think it was certain, you have to go in a low budget movie with certain expectations, and I quite enjoyed it for that. Um, so, you know, I actually thought, I thought this was an okay movie, certainly certainly worth a watch. If you're a dinosaur fan, it's going to be an interesting film to catch. There's not too many dinosaur films, apart from uh, the Jurassic Park series and crappy ones like Carnosaur. Uh, so I'm going to give this movie a 6 out of 10. I didn't think it was a bad movie at all. It's certainly worth checking out and a bit of a, of a different take on the sort of found footage genre rather than these kind of paranormal activity type ones that we've seen so many of. So 6 out of 10 for me. What did you think of it? How does it compare to other found footage movies? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.